Hello friends. Let's continue unit 4 creating advanced ap applications using scripting techniques. This is the second part. The first part is I already covered and the link for that video is available in this video description. Please go through it if you have not gone through it uh, yet. So in this in, in it we will cover about uh, various scripting variables and how we can read the data from uh, script um, scripting techniques. Then uh, we can see how personalize personalize the display as well in uh, analysis applications. So let's start with the lesson three uh, using local variables in script functions. So we need variables in every application, every programming language. We need variable. So Design Studio is not uh, exception for that. So script variables, we need script variables. So it will store expression results useful for storing intermediate results that are used repeatedly in a script. So we can use local script from you know within a script editor from one block to other block means that that is there are two types of variables. One is local script variables and global script variable. Local will be apply applicable to that particular script. Global variables will be applicable to the entire application scripts wherever we can use. So local scripting variables are the script variables that can be only used in the script in which they were defined and not in any other scripts. So as, as I said, it can be used in only one script there where it has been created. And the syntax is where variable name is equal to expression. The, this is an example where integer integer grade is equal to ts one dot get data. So this is one of the data retrieving from the data source uh, suid so this way we can use this variable uh, anywhere in that particular uh, script one more functionality available is type conversion means as in, in, um, in while developing the applications we may need to, to convert the number to string functions uh, number to string string to number like that or decimal to float like that so for that purpose, we have these various uh, convert functions. So float to string, format string, string format, float uh, string to integer, substring, string length, index of replace all. So if we go through that script and if we space, uh, give control uh, and space button, then it will uh, display the info, uh, functions available after putting con convert dot. So this is this will give all the information what is there. So it's very easy. It has some math functions. Whenever we need some math mathematical calculations at that time as well, we we can use these math functions. So if you see abs, a cos, a sin, a tan, like this, sin, cos, whatever these these all functions are available there. Uh, if you type just math in the script editor and after dot, it will show up the all the functions available. Okay, so coming to the next lesson, which is about the reading data in a script means how we can read the data. So reading data for a data source means this is very important because in the dashboard like applications, we, it is important to read a single bits of information and write them directly where you need them. So this is this is one of the examples. So this is a unit dollar a unit of measure. Then this is the actual value. This is the text which is available there this is a sales revenue or it's a dimension uh, we can say and reading the scaling factor as well means if there is any scaling factor that also we can uh, we wanted to read so how we can read these values so for that uh, there are different functions as well so see this is application dot get info so if you want to read the application name so that way we can use uh, this uh, get info function which will give this name date now and date internal parameters so name of the application current date in the users local current date in the format so this is uh, we can just set text suppose in one of the application name or on the top application dashboard we wanted to display the current user name um, then it's local means and then what is the current date and time so we can just use text one dot set text function and in this bracket we can use application dot get info dot name okay reading data from data source suppose we want to read the data from data source then this is a function data source name dot get data and measure and selection command so 
in this uh, parameters we can specify different different formatted value scaling factor unit of measure value so if you see this in an example text one dot set text ts1 underscore and get one dot get data so this is for uh, this is a dimension then this is a um, so this is a dimension this uh, and in this is a value and uh, dot formatted value which means it will give the scaling factor which has already been applied to this value okay so this is the this is the way we can read the data from the data source so these are the different different uh, commands which are available uh, from the data source means data source dot get data get dimension text get info get filter extension then get conditional formatter value get static filter text so get variable so these are the different different uh, commands which are available related to the data source if you go to the help uh, the, you will understand it's very simple and we will see this in a practical examples as well means whenever we we are taking practical examples okay coming to the next unit of using global scripting variables how we can use a global scripting variables so global variables can be defined as a property of an application they can be used as url parameter suppose from one uh, url i uh, suppose from one part to other part i wanted to use as a url and i want to pass some variables there so in that case we i can use a global script variable so these are mostly used as global script variables for urls so whenever you create it has this uh, options name then type whether it is string number like that default value or url parameter if it is true if you want to specify and this is an example like see this is a http colon slash slash means it, it we can give the url uh, here and then after that we can uh, append that uh, parameter here global variable as ampersand then variable name is equal to whatever the values so this is a global scripting variable uh, using global script objects and formatted functions so this is again um, one more uh, global script options in the technical components if you see on the outline on the left side in the design studio there is a technical components option we will see some uh, script objects which provides grouping of a global script functions on each global scripts objects you can create any number of functions so we can create one uh, script object and under that we can create different different functions so each script function has a configuration return type and can have any number of type input parameters so see this is uh, this is one uh, script object and the, in this i am creating a script function which is available here function name description return type input parameters if i want to give i can add some scripting code here to just to uh, get so this is very useful uh, script objects and how we can create this script objects so to create means right click on this folder ka child global script objects once you clear this this will create and how we can create the script function i can we can just right click on this global script of function and then we can um, uh, on the, on the objects which is created from here right click on that particular objects and right click in script create script function and then uh, it will ask for the name of the function and we can um, enter the details there then formatter function is again one more formatter means where we wanted to uh, format our the data uh, how it looks when used data brown properties we can additionally use formatter functions these are always part of global script object so suppose this is an uh, example so this is the way uh, data coming from the database like 12.45 usd and but we wanted to display it like the value is 12.45 us dollar so if i want to display then we can as a formatter function in the text here or text properties add after that give the name the to the for format function then use this function like see where text we can just replace that formatter value like this then text the value is like that return text so this is this will return the text and it will display the data like this okay coming to other scripting scenarios means when scripting is needed means like we when we wanted to export the data to excel that time or csv format 
we we need this scripting so we can just use application dot export then export type dot excel this is the format and what what we need to suppose there is a cross tab which we wanted to export that we can use to export like this suppose this is a cross tab and there is a button means on on click of this button <clears throat> this code will be executing and it will uh, export the data to excel so this is one scenario where scripting is needed then export to pdf type so this is a different uh, option means we can export to pdf if you see wis iwig and this is screen panel and uh, pdf report style so this is a pdf screenshot no hidden components are printed then this is panel means if suppose there is a panel data that will be exported to pdf and this is entire application so export cross tab as enter table including exception and notification so how this can be done so in the technical components there is an option in a script objects pdf so here we can create a script uh, create pdf and this objects we can use like pdf dot export application screen this is application export panel screen and export application pdf export uh, style so once we have this option available so this 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 function we can write it in on a particular uh, script and then whenever user runs they will get a export application to pdf this icon and they they will see this option page size a4 or in uh, orientation landscape portrait whatever they wanted to select they can de de select they want how wanted to have footer text if if they wanted to means these are the users choice they can enter the details and then can click on this export to pdf so that way they can get the data in a pdf and lastly about the personal personal personalization so this is available at runtime in when, whenever user runs the dashboard or application they have this personalization feature available so they can set their personalization um, based on their preferences and then they can delete as well so to set how we can means in a script we can write state dot set personalization state dot delete personalization so this is the one function means we can give these two options available there to the users once this uh, set it will be set whenever they come back then they will be uh, that we will uh, will be as is there or uh, if they delete it then it will uh, delete and the original uh, view will be displayed okay so this is all about this uh, unit um, we learn about local variable script variables and then um, this um, global script objects then personalization i hope you have understood this if you have any questions then please put it in a comment section if you like my video then please like it please subscribe to my channel as well so that you will get to know about my next unit video thank you for watching